Okay, one of the better examples of showing what 29 is really capable of is a section of track like this. It's pretty slippy, it's not actually a downhill track here. Loads of roots, rocks, and the sort of stuff that you would worry about if you're running maybe a hardtail or your tyres a bit firmer. On the 26 full sus, it's fine. It's, it's no problem to ride it, but you are, you are aware of having to really cut the tyre in to sort of hold your line, and you've got to pick stuff carefully. But a 29 is noticeably quicker. It's quieter, it's smoother, I'm not trying half as hard. And when I'm braking, it's very controlled. Everything about it is a lot better. I'm watching a bunch of uh, downhillers come down here on their 26-inch wheel bikes, uh, and they're going pretty quickly. But the really weird thing is that Doddy is, I think, quicker on his 29-inch wheel bike, and he's certainly not working as hard. Now, when I was riding on the 29 just a second ago, it didn't feel as fast as the 26. This is why a lot of people kind of misunderstand the whole 29 thing. The fact is you are going faster. It just doesn't feel quite as fast. 26-inch bike feels fast, but it's a visceral speed that you're sensing because you're having to make so many more adjustments and you're working harder at keeping the traction and the grip and the line that you're looking for. I've just ridden straight the way back up this trail and I tell you, it's as slippery and rooty and traction free as you can find. But the 29 are whistled up here. The 26 would have been nigh on impossible to get up here because you can't control the torque forces over the rear tire. You could not do that on a 26 inch hard tail. As it was, I was able to concentrate on my pedalling and my weight distribution. Couldn't have done it on a 26. 